Hey everyone, uh, Ruin here, and gosh, it has been a minute since I've made a video. Um, I don't even know how to do these things anymore. So, um, I'm really excited because I actually got a package, and I wanted to do like a major unboxing video where I, you know, invited my friends on call, kind of like what I did with Ruin's uh, head whenever I first got him. Um, I don't know if you can believe it or not, but it has actually been six years since I did Ruins unboxing, and that was probably one of my most popular videos. I think it is my most popular video. Um, but yeah, just unboxing this guy six years ago was like the highlight of my life, and you know, I've had so many great memories with this suit, and I've gone to three conventions, I used to do some outings with friends, and it's just been an amazing journey. But unfortunately, you know, Ruin is getting old. And so a couple of years ago, well, more than that now, probably about three, three years ago, maybe four, um, around that time, we started noticing that Ruin was kind of wearing out. Um, I did get him from an amateur maker and they did a wonderful job, but you know, it was a learning experience for them. And it's been a learning experience for me in fursuiting as well. And literally just the suit just can't hold up. And, uh, you know, I probably have maybe one more good year with him before it really just starts to become a little bit too risky to wear him uh, just because of all the things that are currently falling apart. Ruin will be at Indie Fur Con um, this weekend. Uh, that'll be Friday the 26th, Saturday the 27th, and Sunday the 28th. And it'll probably be one of the last times I wear Ruin um, just to be safe, but you know, you never know. I might try and get a little bit more mileage out of this little guy um, before I finally retire him for good. However, I did get a package, like I stated before, and, um, whenever we saw that Ruin was kind of wearing down a little bit, there were talks of me possibly getting another fursuit. Um, just something to really kind of wear whenever Ruin needed a break, and it just so happened that my buddy Patch at, uh, CCS Mascots, he was trying to make a new sort of foam mold for his uh, his fursuit business. He currently, he did carved bases and uh, he'd messed around with some other types of bases as well, but he really wanted to try um, something new rather than just his typical carved bases. He really wanted to update his business and uh, find a, a, uh, a better means of creating his casts and stuff, his molds and whatnot. Um, and so he kind of like roped some friends together and said, Hey, um, if you help me with this project, you know, if you donate some money towards the materials, etc., I'll give you a head base. Um, and at the time it was a really good deal. Um, I had a few characters that I really wanted suits of. And like I said, because Rune was wearing down, this just ended up being super convenient timing. And so I, I gave him some money, um, me and a few others gave him some money and was like, hey, here you go. And in turn, um, the new the new base that originally he said we were going to get, that didn't end up working out, which is fine. Um, it was understandable. Just he didn't get the materials in time and there were some other complications. And hey, you know, experimenting and trying something new, sometimes that happens. And he said, hey, I can't give you the base that I originally wanted to give you, but would you be cool with one of my original carved bases? which uh, Patch does amazing work. I don't know if you've ever seen anything by CCS Mascots, which you technically should if you've ever watched my channel because Captain is made by uh, CCS Mascots. So um, if you've uh, never seen any of his other work, I highly suggest you check it out. Adorable, like absolutely adorable. Um, if I had the money to commission him, absolutely one of my next fursuits would be by him. Um, but he, uh, you know, he asked if I was cool with the head base, with the carved base, and I said, yeah, like, no worries. Like, if it's yours, if you've made it, then it's going to be amazing, and I'm not going to throw a fuss. And so uh, he sent over the carved base to Flames Voices, who, of course, is the owner of Captain. And she, at the time, was uh, trying to get her uh, fursuit business up and going as well. She made my ex-wife's uh, fursuit escape, which is amazing. Um, so if you watch my videos for Texas Furry Fiesta, I think it was 2018, and ACFI uh, 2018. I don't know if it was 2018 or 2017, 
But yeah, if you watch like my last ACFI video and my last Texas Furry Fiesta video, um, then you'll see the Escape suit, which is just absolutely amazing and probably and a very unique shade of green. I don't see very many fursuits uh, making use of that. So um, Flames Voices also does amazing fursuit work. So the fact that this was kind of a collaboration project between those two um, with, you know, Patch providing the the base and uh you know flames voices actually doing like the work on the character like it was really really exciting because it was a canine base we decided to go with uh my character cheshire who's a makari makari are an open species and uh created by patch and they're kind of like a canid bat bovine hybrid um, and they've got a very unique culture. They are very attuned to the elements, so they have very specific powers. Um, there's just a lot about them. Um, you can check them out by basically searching up the Makari um, or Makari's Den. Uh, you should be able to find it on Fur Affinity or on Facebook, and then you can learn a bunch about them. But anyways, so we decided to make Cheshire uh, my Makari out of the head base. So... Um, we decided to do it that way. Um, and then it would give me another character. It would give Rune a sister. We kind of joked about like how uh, we were going to do the reveal. There was like some videos planned. But this was all when I lived in Texas. And uh, so those things never happened. Those plans kind of fell through. Flames voices got really busy. And I got really busy. And life happened. And we just weren't able to really kind of complete the project. We kind of laughed about Cheshire uh, as she was being made, as I'm trying to open this box, uh, because Cheshire, as a character, is a trickster. And this fursuit gave Flames Voices so much trouble. Uh, the horns didn't want to cooperate at first, and then the, the head base didn't want to cooperate. And so there was just a lot that started to go wrong with this fursuit from like start to finish. And so because of that, Chesh took a lot longer to make than what we originally planned, um, which is why the videos just did not get done. And after years and years and years and years of waiting, um, like I said, stuff just gets complicated sometimes. I finally have Cheshire. Um, I guess I'm kind of scared <laughs> because the box looks a lot smaller than I uh, kind of anticipated. And while I don't have a massive head... Um, I have a larger head than what I think this box fits, so I'm a little concerned. Um, I did try on the head base back when I was living in Texas, and I don't think my head has gotten any bigger, um, but life happens, and you never know. Oh, I'm so excited. Sorry, guys. Um, before I show the head off, uh, let's see if there's anything else in this, in this box. And there is. There be. Okay. Let us see. Let us see what is in the box. I must see. Okay, first of all, my friend knows me way too well. There's a bath bomb in here. And let's see. Infusia. I almost said euthanasia. That's not the correct word. <laughs> so it's not a euthanasia bath bomb. Anyways, uh, Infusia's bath bombs are free from parabens. Ooh, phthalates. Ooh, dye and SLS. Mmm. Okay, so this is lavender. And yeah, no, absolutely love lavender. Um, I am a huge fan of lavender. And I'm a huge fan of bath bombs. And I love taking baths. Um, actually, I just got out of the shower not too long ago. So there's that. I have... Oh, it's a Flareon. It's so cute. Look at that. Oh, I love me some Pokemans. I think we actually had a discussion at one time about Pokemon. And like which ones we loved and stuff. And, uh, which ones we would be. But, yeah, no. Flareon, absolute win. And I know, I know this comes from something we talked about, but I just don't remember what it is. It's been so long, you guys. Like, I moved out of Texas in 2020, and it was really hard to kind of catch up with people before then. Okay. Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, the Twisted Ones. I actually, this is mine, and I let Flames Voices borrow it because uh, I have the entire series. These books are actually really scary. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend like they're not. Like, they're freaky. And I really like them. I really like how it kind of redid the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. 
Um, so I let them borrow it and they're giving it back to me. <laughs> I hope they finished it. So I'm gonna poke them and be like, dude, did you read this book? Like if you did not, you've literally held on to this book for like two years and you didn't read it. How dare you? I imagine they're like sweating right now. Like, oh my God, oh my God. And there's another book in here. But like, wh what book though? Is it sketchy book? No, it's not a sketchy book. I see a book. I see a book I've been wanting. I see a book that I've been wanting that I've been eyeballing because it's a book of books that I've been wanting. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I have a feeling. Ah, uh, I have a feeling that it's gonna be the book I want. It's definitely the book I want. <gasps> a Oh, not what is it? Oh, okay. All right. Hello, fuzzbutts. If any of you do not know the wonder and love that is Welcome to Night Vale, you are missing out. If you do not know the joy and wonder of the faceless old woman who secretly lives in your home, who is voiced by the ever wonderful and ever beautiful Mara Wilson, who I would fucking die for, then yeah, you just have not lived your life. But this, this. So we're going to see who signed it. And I'm going to freak out about this probably for the rest of the day. I haven't even been to sleep yet, and I have to work tonight, guys. Anyways, this is the part that you wanted, though. You wanted to see the Chesh. She is here. She is beautiful. And, oh my god, those horns just poked me. She's already bitey, guys. I just got her, and she is absolutely but Holy sh- I don't mean to curse, but look at these ears! Okay, we're gonna have to do like an ear check, okay? Because ear wiggles are important. Um, ear wiggles are important, but even more important is uh, just checking out the ear comparison, okay? I'm definitely an ear person. The bigger the ears, the better. Okay, so this is Chesh's ear, right? This is Ruin's ear. And I thought Ruin had massive ears, okay? Um, no, he's got baby ears compared to Chesh. I have literally probably hit about a thousand people. Not really a thousand. I've probably hit at least five. But I've hit people with these ears. I have turned my head at points in time and completely smacked individuals without knowing it because his ears are so massive. These are murder weapons. These should probably be illegal in like 13 countries. <laughs> like, I'm just saying like this is massive, but this is huge. Like this is gargantuan. Anyways, okay, so let's dun dun da 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 da. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this blep man. This is Chesh. She's huge. This is probably one of the biggest fursuit heads I have ever seen. Now, naturally, because she's been kind of smooshed, -did -did -did, um, we'll have to just kind of rearrange the ears a little bit. Probably get them to. Uh, go stick up a little bit more if they can. They probably don't. They probably are very floppy, but I mean, oh my god, all the ear wiggles. Um, part of the challenge with Chesh was that we tried to use a lot more like solid parts, um, and this required them to be bought and painted. So the horns, um, actually, I believe that they already came in this or no, they did not come in this color. So the horns were bought, and originally they were very hard to secure. Um, I can definitely tell where there was like some trouble trying to get them to stick to the head. Um, and to get around this, Flame's Voices actually uh, added in uh, some minky horns to try and see if those would probably work better. And even though they, um, they stuck up a lot more, which was the intention, because Chesh actually has like big, bigger horns that kind of stand up. Even though they did kind of stand up, um, the problem was is that the minky horns were just a little bit too... Uh, fluffy and they weren't like as uh how do i put it as sharp sharp or as crisp as we wanted they were more rounded and they just kind of just didn't look right um chesh originally did have actual like uh solid teeth but again the proportions kind of ended up being a thing the teeth were a bit too small it didn't work in the mouth as well as we'd like um the horns like i said they were just a little bit too small they were hard to install in the head itself 
And so Chess just gave um, Flame's voices just all sorts of problems. But look at those eyes. Like, these eyes, whenever I first got pictures of the eyes, like, these things, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was just blown away by the eyes, just absolutely stunning. And I'm still in love with them. Like, you probably can't see it on my phone, but they've got accents of, like, you know, brownish, goldish, and they kind of fade up in the, into the blue, and it really just makes the blue pop. Um, and yeah, so just with the eyes, probably the most stunning detail in eyes that I have seen in a long time. And, you know, as my second ever fursuit head, like, this is absolutely amazing. Um, is there anything else in there? No. Um, originally the plan with Chesh was that, um, it was going to be a full, uh, a, well, a partial, um, but it was going to be the full partial. So it was going to come with sleeves, hand paws, feet paws, um, and I do have a, a tail for Chesh. I just don't have anything else. Um, so this is just the head. Um, so there's no paws, there's nothing else. Um, and so, you know, is she technically ready for a convention? Well, yes, because you don't have to have the full thing. Um, of course, you know, paws would be helpful because without them, it kind of just ruins the illusion a little bit. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's more about just uh, having fun and just looking funny while doing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's definitely a good start. Um, would definitely like to get hand paws in the future, but might just end up having to make those myself. Um, or just sending my friends some money so that I can, uh, pay some more to get those done. Anyways, um, just stunning detail. I'm sorry, I'm blown away. Um, so yeah, so originally the teeth were solid, but then those didn't really work. So they, um, they have cloth teeth instead. The jaw has always kind of given them problems. Um, it, it's always kind of looked like off to the side, but... Um, and some of this we just couldn't figure out why it looked that way, um, because there was nothing wrong with the base, there was nothing wrong with anything, um, as far as the head went, it's just, it's just how things, like, ended up turning out, um, sometimes whenever you see the finish, whenever you get the finished product or you're heading towards the end, you just realize that some things just are a little bit out of place, and, um, just something about, like, how heavy the fur was, and then there's the structure of it, this was a, definitely a challenge. I don't even know how to sew, um... Literally, Flame's voices had to walk me through sewing Ruin's sleeves um, whenever we did those. And um, I actually ended up sewing Captain's sleeves because they were more straightforward. And Flame's voices handled more of Ruin's stuff because it was a little bit more complicated. So, um, yeah, no, I can't sew, which means I wouldn't be able to ever accomplish anything like this. Um, so the fact that it's even done at all is, like, just, to me, is amazing. So... Um, not really seeing anything to complain about. Um, I do see where, like, the nose was a little bit hard to set, and I remember Flame's voices saying something about that, um, how the nose was hard to set. I think the integration of the solid parts on the carved head base, um, just mixed with all the fabric and stuff just ended up being a difficult process. So Chesh was literally an experiment, and, um, I definitely see where, you know, like I said, certain things were hard um, to do, um, harder to do than others. So, um, you know, my friends learned a lot since then, and I'm sure that if Chesh or anything else like this was, uh, done in the future, it would be a lot different and probably be a lot d easier, considering both my friends have learned so much and have improved so much in their craft. Um, but yeah, no, like I said, this is absolutely stunning. And now, really the moment of truth. Um, I've noticed that Cheshire in the, in the back of the head, the, the head base no longer goes all the way around, at least the foam doesn't, and the head base is a little bit, it's open. This will make it easier because it'll make it easier for the head to stretch, and so it shouldn't actually be, like, so tight and unbearable to, like, wear. Um, I do remember when I first got the head base, um, it was a little, it was doable, but it was a little bit tight, and as someone that wears glasses, um, that was a little bit difficult. I know that Flame's voice has said that they wanted to make it so that I could wear my glasses. I do have contacts for the convention, so I'm not really too worried about it. But at the same time, knowing that the head um, is going to be a little bit more um, loose so that I have a little bit more comfort and a little bit more airflow is actually really nice. Um, 
I'm sorry, I'm just opening everything. Um, so Chesh doesn't have top teeth, Chesh just has bottom teeth, um, which is fine. Uh, do we have a Velcro blip or is it sewed in? We have a sewed in blip, which is fine. Um, mouth opens nice and neat. There should be some airflow in there. Glad it doesn't have like netting, but of course I wouldn't think it did. Um, so I'm just kind of, like I said, I have never seen this suit in person. I've only ever seen pictures. So like I'm exploring it for the first time. Um, some nice shaving on the face to give it detail. I love the hair floof on top. Um, I like the fact that there's longer hair on top uh, on suits just because I think it gives them definition. Suits that are just completely shaved down on the top um, to me just look bald. So this is really nice. Um, I like the detail in the cheeks. I like the, how the cheeks are puffed out and it gives a definition. And yeah, no, these eyes are just crazy beautiful. Um, I like how they extend out so that they kind of look like, um, what is it, wings a little bit. Because um, I know that the character actually does look very feminine. I love the cheek floof. Um, the cheek floof is just freaking adorable. And I probably cannot get enough of it. And it's got a nice neck. Like, it's got a nice, nice long neck. I really like the stitching. And, it, you know, holding it up like this, it's a heavy, heavy, heavy head. Like, if I... If I compare it to Ruin, Ruin's still a little bit heavier. And no, Chesh is heavier. <laughs> I just adjusted. I'm like, ah, no. Um, Chesh is a lot heavier. Chesh is a lot more like top heavy. Ruin is a lot more side heavy, mostly just due to the ears. Um, so definitely there's a difference between these two. Um, oh my gosh, if I put them like this, it's almost like sound canceling. Oof. Um, but yeah, no, so Rune's a little bit lighter, but not by much. He's a lot heavier on the side. Cheshire's very top heavy. I can see wearing her for long periods of time would just be like crazy. Um, but I'd be willing to give it a shot. Uh, I'm always so nervous about this part because I'm always worried it's never going to fit. But as someone that has costumed before, I should know that that's not the case. Okay. So definitely because of the padded cheeks, um, I can tell that Chesh's cheeks kind of press up against my own. It's not completely uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it's not like super uncomfortable. It's just different. I'm not used to having that constriction on my jaw. Um, I know that originally we were going to try having Chesh uh, with a moving jaw. That's what we were trying to do with um, both Chesh and Escape. Uh, frontward vision uh, is actually not that bad. It has a lot more vision than what I originally thought it was going to have. Um, and let's see. Um, side vision's really, really good. Um, the eyes are a lot bigger than what Ruin has. So uh, I can actually see really, really well. I can imagine that when I have my contact it, contacts in, I'd actually be able to see around me pretty, pretty well. Naturally, I'm always going to be blind about here-ish. I'm not going to have the same type of peripheral that I would have, you know, just with my normal vision. But honestly, compared to the vision in Ruin, which is like minimal, um, then yeah, like this, this is fantastic. I could basically see everything. My blind spot's about like here-ish, like from here up I can't see. Um, I'm just thinking of the meme of Patrick being mad because he can't see his forehead. Um, but yeah, from here up, I'm kind of blind. And uh, definitely like from here outwards, I'm blind. And most of my vision, of course, just sees like the inside of the mouth, of course, which, like I said, is a lot smaller than what I thought. Um, it was a lot more constricted. I don't have as much airflow down here. I'm used to most of my air from Rune coming in through the mouth. Now, as I talk and as I breathe, I can kind of like feel the hot air moving out of the mouth, which means that, you know, there is airflow, of course. Um, but as far as getting like fresh air in, I don't feel like I get it as much from here as I'm used to. But I do get it from the eyes. The eyes kind of like they're, um, they're open enough that I get a lot of fresh air through there. And so now we do the ear wiggle check. Holy crap. Yeah, I could probably, like, murder a small child with these. Not even gonna lie. Um, 
so yeah no the ears definitely like that's where I think a lot of the weight is coming from is a lot from like here because the cheeks themselves are super heavy um so definitely a lot of the weight is here and the rest of the weight is from here the top is not as heavy as I thought it would be um, I thought the top would be a lot heavier, but yeah, no, it's definitely the ears and it's definitely the cheeks that are making up for a lot of Cheshire's weight. Um, so like I said, as far as like moving around and talking in this suit, um, well, I mean, it's not going to be a challenge. It's not going to be like bad, but it's definitely going to be an adjustment since I am used to Rune and Rune's just a lot, uh, like I said, he's gone through some improvements, and he is just a lot different. Um, my biggest issue with Chesh is going to be just the lack of parts. Obviously, I'm going to have human hands. I don't like having human hands. Um, and, of course, I won't have my feet paws, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge as well. Uh, but this is just Chesh's debut, so it doesn't have to be complete at the moment. And... Uh, you know, I can always get paws in the future. This is just the first step, of course. And there's a ton of awesome paw tutorials out there. So I could definitely just make my own, like, paws if it came down to it. I would just have to get the exact, um, the exact colors. And then I'd have to, well, learn how to sew. And if not, you know, I could always ask my friend uh, if she's open for commission still. Or I could ask Patch. And then have them whip me up something as well. Um, because paws don't take as long as obviously a head would. And I already have the tail. So really the, the challenge just comes down to the hand, uh, the hand paws and the feet paws. But yeah, no, like it's not bad. I just love the wiggly ears, but it's just like, uh, my head just keeps moving with them. So heavy. I could literally generate wind energy with these, I feel. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, that would definitely, that would definitely be fun. I just really just don't want them to snap. But like, yeah, no, I could take off. I'm going to space. I'm flying away. I'm going to take an island vacation. I'm going somewhere warmer for the winter. That's how I feel <laughs> in, in these ears. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so I'm looking forward to wearing Chesh. I'm looking forward to trying her out and just kind of, you know learning the ropes with the character and stuff. Um, naturally, when you suit, you kind of have to figure out, like, how you want to be. If you're playing a character, you kind of got to figure out what that character is going to be like. Um, I think with Chesh, I'm just going to be myself and, um, you know, just kind of roll with it from there and then see what else I want to do. Um, but yeah, it's not really a bad adjustment at all. Um, like I said, it's not, I don't have to get used to it as much as I thought I would have to, but... Uh, I'm definitely going to want to uh, figure out the rest of the costume for later because I would love to wear more of Tresh in the future and make more videos with Tresh in the future. So, sorry this isn't like, you know, this huge like unboxing video like my last one was. Um, I know this one was a lot longer because I tend to ramble a little bit and it probably took you a lot longer to get to the good part than what you wanted to. But uh, But yeah, anyways, that's all I got for this one. Um, hope you look forward to seeing more Chesh in the future. I'll have a con video as soon as, um, I get my, uh, well, as soon as I get the pictures and stuff and the video is uploaded from the con, then I'll have a con video made for you guys. And who knows, maybe I'll start making more furry content in the future. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Flames Voices, for the, uh, for the head and all the goodies. I'm definitely going to poke you on Discord later. Thank you CCS mascots for the head base to make Chesh possible and for the Makari species. Again, if you are interested in these cute little creatures, you can check them out by looking at the Makari Den. I'm one of the admins there along with Flames Voices and CCS mascots himself. So definitely check that out on Fur Affinity or Facebook. And yeah, so anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. All right, ciao you guys.